Listening and Speaking for Level 4 Students Chapter 8 Audio 2 Listen to the conversation and then write T for true and F for false statements. <sighs> Jeremy, congratulations! You've won again! You've run the best times all day. You... I mean, you've beaten everyone. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. It's been a pretty good day. I thought I was ready for this, but you blew me away. How'd you improve so much? Are you working out more? Uh, more than I used to, but... Yeah, I've been uh, doing something different, too. Uh, I've changed my approach to training. What do you mean? Well, I got a visualization coach. This guy who helps me with my training. A what coach? A visualization coach. He helps me with my workout. He's like a, a mind coach. He makes me think about and picture what I'm about to do, like run a race before it happens. I focus on seeing myself. I see myself running faster than I ever have before and leaving everyone else behind and finishing first. First. You're kidding me. Look, at first I was like, this is kind of nuts. But my mom saw this program on TV about how Olympic athletes use these kinds of coaches all the time. And so she wanted, she did some research and found my coach. There's a lot of them out there. I was surprised. So what do you, I mean, how does it work? Well, Caesar, that's my coach's name. He has me imagine myself at the starting line and then seeing myself off the mark first and leaving everyone else behind. That's not all. I also, well, he tries to get me to see myself doing it too, as if I were a fan in the stands. What? Like you're in the bleachers? Yeah, exactly. And it works? Well, yeah, I mean, my times have been better than ever before. It sounds easy. Yeah, I guess it does, but Caesar has me do other things too, like I'll, well, he'll play fan noises like we're in a real stadium when I'm doing my training with him. It's for, well, it, because he wants me to get used to noise distractions and visualize myself winning in spite of them. One time he even sprayed me with water like it was raining so I had to see myself winning in the rain. Hmm. Yeah, it is strange, but I'm happy with the results. That's for sure. I mean, I want to go to college and that means I need money, so I'm hoping all this training will help get me a scholarship. So, has he taught you anything else? Yeah, he's taught me to do a little mental warm-up at the starting line, too. Were you doing that today? I sure was, and personally, I believe it paid off. Yeah, it did. You know, it's also not uh, just for winning. He has me, uh, sometimes he asks me to think about what to do if I have a problem on the track, like how to handle it, like what to do if another runner goes down or if I get a bad start. Thinking about it before it happens is supposed to help me get over it. And I've been killing myself with workouts. I should have just meditated. <laughs> yeah, but I gotta, you know, you gotta keep working out and training too. You can't just meditate in the dark room and go win races. Yeah, guess not. So I still don't get why exactly it works. Well, it's related to how your brain works. When I imagine myself doing these things, my brain kind of thinks I, I really am. So it like, the message from my brain warms up my muscles and kind of, kind of paves the way for my legs and body to move. It makes it easier to move. Well, it sure is working for you. Yeah, it surprised me too. When I started, I, I really didn't know if it would work. And I was like, you know, mom, save your money, but... Uh, it's really, uh, it's working. So, can you give me this Caesar's number? Ha, <laughs> no way, man. Get your own coach. One. Jeremy has improved. This statement is true. Number two. Jeremy is doing more exercises. This statement is false. Because it wasn't a matter of doing more exercises, but Jeremy changed his way of training. 3. Olympic athletes use visualizations coaches. This statement is true. Number 4. A visualization coach helps a person imagine doing something well before he or she actually does it.
and also this statement is true. Number five, Jeremy meets his coach every day. This statement is true. Number six, Caesar tells Jeremy to think about what to do if he has a problem while on the track. This statement is also true. Number seven, Jeremy does not need to work out or train anymore. This statement is false because actually Jeremy does need to work out or train. Number eight, thinking about what you are going to do helps you when you actually do it. This statement is true. The last statement, Jeremy is going to give Rob his coach's number. This statement is false because Jeremy refused to give Rob his coach's number.